I've worked with a lot of solar inverter brands and I'm also watching as the market shifts. With this past experience and knowledge, I have put together my top 5 solar inverter picks for Zimbabwe in 2025. My top 5 list is not based on emotions, but it is based on real world experience, local availability, local support, and most importantly, value for you. To make it even more relatable to you, I am going to use something close to home. Cars. Yes, the Toyota brand. Because if you are in Zimbabwe, you see them everywhere in the roads. Think of each invader like a vehicle, each with its own strength, class, and ideal driver. Let's dive in from number five to number one. Number five is the Focus Inverter. Other notable brands in this category are Growart, Lux Power, Mesa Expert King, and Kodak. Like a Toyota Corolla, the Focus is reliable, familiar, and always gets the job done. Focus was once one of the best solar inverters in Zimbabwe back then in 2021-2022. In this category, it stood almost alone, durable, elegant, and reliable. But over time, other brands came in with better pricing, more advanced functionality, and stronger marketing. That's how Focus lost some of its shine. But let's just be clear, it is still a very dependable choice. It runs quietly, looks slick, and is very stable. One strength men don't know, Focus provides firmware updates on their official website. This helps the Focus to stay compatible with modern batteries like Dynes and Pylantec. I have put the link to the latest firmware updates of the Focus Inverters in the description in this video for you. Some notable features of the Focus Inverters are that you can play around with its functions to get more from your solar panels and save on your electricity bill. It is also relatively quiet in its operation. And many people love it because it can do what is called net metering. To those who do not know what net metering is, please worry not. It will be a topic for discussion one of these days on this channel. But however, I have put a link in the description if you want to read more about net metering now. Now getting back to the Focus. Many solar installers are still in love with the Focus because of its solid reputation for reliability and clean output. However, just like anything else, the Focus comes with a few limitations. It is relatively low on efficiency and has fewer features compared to newer modules of other brands. Battery communication is often missing with the popular batteries like PYD. Many models in this category like Mesa and Kodak are being phased out or being sub are not supported anymore. You have my blessing to get a focus inverter if you are starting out or working with a tight budget or when you need a basic backup solar system. Make sure you choose a compatible lithium battery and please avoid setting up bigger systems beyond 20 kVA. This is because you might face compatibility and software issues. Now, going on to number four, we have another inverter on my top five solar inverters to buy in Zimbabwe in 2025, which is the Dynes. The Dynes sits on number four. Other notable brands in this category are Goodwe, Solis, and Freedom One. Like a Toyota Hilux single cab, the Dynes is practical, strong, and ready to prove itself. Dynes has made waves in Zimbabwe recently, not just with its lithium batteries, but also with its new inverter line. Even though it is still relatively new to the inverter space, Dynes has climbed the fast thanks to its hard-working and responsive distribution network in Zimbabwe. Their pricing is aggressive and attractive, which makes it a compelling choice for those upgrading from lower tier solar systems. Functionality is decent, but there are some small gaps. Some models do not have a dedicated auxiliary output port, 
which helps separate essential appliances from non-essential appliances. This is important because it allows solar systems to preserve power for things like lighting, Wi-Fi, and fridges when the battery is low. Dynasys online monitoring interface sometimes buffers or lags behind, which makes it difficult to monitor its activities from remote in real time. However, despite this, the integration with Dynasys batteries is seamless and compatibility with other lithium brands is generally solid. Dynasys has given clear documentation as to how you link it with various lithium batteries other than from theirs. Go for Dianas if you are seeking a mid to a high-end solar system with a reliable battery integration. However, as it's still an emerging player, local technical support may not be as mature yet. On the third position, we have the day or the day inverter. Like a Toyota Fortuner, the day is solid, capable, and widely respected. They changed the game after the likes of Focus dominated the early markets. This Chinese hybrid inverter has become one of the best known brands across Zimbabwe for a good reason. It offers powerful hybrid features at a fair price. Some of the things I like about it are as follows. The day has more than one solar charge controllers. This feature makes it possible for you to connect solar panels of different sizes and face them on different sides of your house. This adds flexibility if you need to upgrade your solar system at a later stage or maybe you need to fit your solar panels facing more than one side. Usually, installers are forced to do this because of limited space or because of solar panel shedding. So this is a very useful feature. The day also gives you that excellent hybrid performance. It was built to know on its own when to take power from the sun, when to take power from the batteries, or when to take power from Zesa. The day also gives you a wide battery array of choices to pick from, in that it is compatible with a wide variety of lithium batteries. However, no brand is perfect. The day's BMS or battery management system communication setup sometimes lacks polish. Secondly, its supply chain has been affected by counterfeits, especially on the local market. It is also not a ref as refined as other inverter brands that eventually get better than it in terms of interface and finish. However, other people say you get comfortable with it as you get used to it. Another concern as well is that the day inverters are built by day but branded and sold by other companies, which may lead to differences in support and updates. However, despite saying all this, if you want a robust hybrid functionality at the middle price range, the day is for you. Just make sure you get it from someone you trust. Otherwise, when you want to use a day, make sure you watch out for counterfeits and off-spec variants that are circulating in the market. Number two is the Sunsync. Like a Toyota Prado, it's polished, tough, and refined just right for Zimbabwe. Even though Sunsync and Day come from the same origin, Sunsync took things a step further by refining its specs and creating a more polished and user-friendly experience. In Zimbabwe, Sunsync has become one of the most installed inverters. Why? Sunsync has an excellent auxiliary management system or auxiliary load management system. This helps preserve batteries by turning off non-essential appliances like geysers while keeping essentials like lights, fridges, and Wi-Fi on. In addition, with this Sunsync, you can set it to run high-consumption appliances with heating elements when you are getting excess power from the sun, which makes the sun work tirelessly for you. Of course, when implementing some of these sweet features, you need someone who really knows how to program it well. Strong battery compatibility is one of Samsung's strengths. It is compatible with brands like BYD, Pylon Tech, Freedom One, 
Dainis, Weko, Deye, and many more. I also love this energy phase, it's, it's energy uh, saving features, which enables you to save a lot from your CSA bill. Another important thing is that Sensing has a growing local support training network. This makes it even more relatable and easy to work with. There are a few challenges, challenges though, like a less than perfect online platform and occasional firmware bugs, though they are usually fixed fast. If you want a full solar installation, flexible for both residential and business, or even farmers, I would necessarily to recommend you the Sunsync. It is a very capable piece of equipment. However, look out for setup errors, and for this, you will need a skilled installer to get the full benefits out of it. I am also not quite sure of the Sunsync batteries, but as of the batteries, it is a story for another day. Now, the number one inventor of the five best inventors for Zimbabwe for you, from me. Number one is the Victron. Also notable in this category is Fronia's SMA, Outback, Schneider Electric, and many more. In this segment, you also need to watch out for CG Energy CG Store. It's coming on fast. The Victron, like a Toyota Land Cruiser or Toyota VX, it is the gold standard built for performance and endurance. Victron is what most top tier engineers and system designers will recommend. Whether it's a farm, a commercial site, or a large off-grid home, this is where Victron shines. But what makes Victron unique? Victron Energy stands out due to its focus on reliability, innovation, and power management solutions. I also love its real-time data monitoring with the Victron Remote Console which is called the VRIM. I love the fully customizable interface and programmable features it has. It is very rare for one to fully utilize what you can do with it. The Victron ecosystem is just so much fun to work with. Unlike many competitors, Victron uses transformer-based inverters. Transformer-based inverters are more resilient to high-consuming appliances like electric motors and aircons. All Victron products undergo thorough testing to handle harsh electoral situations, providing peace of mind for you. If you need to know how much Victron, how Victron products work, Victron provides resources such as training videos and network of and a network of authorized professionals to support users in setting up and maintaining their systems. They have done all this absolutely for free through their website. I will leave the link to the Victron professional portal. In the description if you would also want to learn more about the Victron. Believe me you, this video is just a tip of the iceberg to what Victron is capable of, so make sure you make use of that link. Battery manufacturers like BYD, Pylon Tech, Waco, Dynes, Freedom One, Blue Nova, Solar MD, Leoc, and Pite have made sure their batteries are compatible with the Victron ecosystem because they understand that Victron is the real deal. Yes, on the downside, it's pricey. And yes, sometimes it has a low protection rating or IP rating, so it must be stored in a clean indoor space. But if you want the best, Victron it is. It's durable, it's highly efficient, and allows deep control over every aspect of your system. If you have a limited budget, the Victron can be very expensive and can be an overkill for small homes. It requires skilled installers and is a steep learning curve. IP22 means it must be kept in a clean, dry indoor space. Victron inverters are still out of reach on bigger units above 15 kVA, a segment where players like Sunsync, Deye, and Solis are already shining. Other than its modular method, it is a bit complex to set up bigger systems like 100 kVA without digging deep deep into your pocket. Things also become more complicated when one considers all the components needed to set up a complete Victron setup. But if you are a high-end user, you work with an NGO, you are a farm owner, you are a businessman, or you are a prosumer who wants the best of the best, then go for Victron. However, 
be ready for this steep learning curve and a very knowledgeable and Victron certified investor. For my final thoughts, every investor in this list has earned its spot through reward performance, market presence, and the value delivered to Zimbabwe users. Depending on your budget, installation goals, and future plans, there is something here for you. The key is to work with a trusted solar installer or an engineer who understands this thing. They will help you avoid costly mistakes that I've seen many people make. Would you like to go deeper into how to choose the right inverter for your specific need? Or maybe you want a visual breakdown of all these brands? Like this video and don't forget to subscribe while we are there so that we continue making you helpful content like this. And of course, if you need help making the right choice, Reach out to us at Take On Electrical. I will also leave our contact details in the description section in this video. We are here to help you stay powered this smart way. Until next time, it's bye for now.